In this video, we'll show you how to get set up with the Fitbit Alta. Here we have our directions. Underneath we have the box which contains our USB cables and optional USB dongle for wireless syncing. And of course we have the actual device itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in into our USB, charge up our Fitbit, and go to this website address with our browser on our computer. If we had a smartphone, we can always use the Fitbit app. But in this case, we're going to use our computer download Fitbit Connect. And we're going to set up a new Fitbit device. And if you're new to Fitbit, you can create an account here. Or if you already have a login, enter your login details right here. And once that's done, let's click on Login. Update our profile if needed. And now we're going to select our device, in this case, which is the Fitbit Alta. Now, if you have a laptop or a desktop computer that already has Bluetooth integrated, go ahead and turn that on right now. That means that you don't need to use that USB dongle. Now, if you happen to have a computer without Bluetooth, plug it in and then click on Next. And we'll go through the guide here. Basically shows us how to put in the power clip. And now we're going to search, look for our Fitbit. And once it connects, we'll have the confirmation code on our device. That was pretty quick, but you will have a four digit code you'll type in. And we'll click on next, and that will pair our device to our Bluetooth. And if you're new out of the box, we'll probably do some software updating. And this might take a few minutes. In this case, it took about three minutes to do the update. And once it's done, we're going to do our initial sync. Now we can click on next. And now we're just going to finish off the wizard, basically telling us how to take care, how to use our Fitbit, how we can flick our wrist to view the display, and all that other fun stuff. And one of the last things is to select if we're left or right handed, we can select that and we can also choose what kind of clock face we want vertical or horizontal we just leave it on the default and lastly we can change our wristbands show you how to do that now we're all done it will bring us to our fitbit profile and now we are ready to go